Hello, beloveds. It is Monday, May 18th. Um, we are continuing to talk about the Holy Spirit and how wonderful that Jesus sent him to us and why we need him and, and what he does for us. And so we're going to talk more about him today. Um, and today, first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, we're going to read our verses and then we're going to go into why Miss Jamie is sitting on her bed. And I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But so I'm going to read the verses and I want you to listen. OK, so we're going to be in um, John chapter 14 and we're going to be in verses 16 all the way um, to 19. OK, and it says, and I will ask the father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. And before long, the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me because I live. You also will live. How wonderful. We're going to go back to those in just a minute, but I want to ask you a question. Have you ever been sad? Maybe you've lost a loved one or lost a pet, or maybe you found out that you have to move and you are sad because you might have to leave your friends. You know, beloveds, we have all been in a place where we have been sad, where our hearts hurt and our hearts are breaking. And, you know, the, there's some wonderful news about that, that when we are sad, it's one of the reasons why Jesus sent the Holy Spirit. He is another advocate. He is another comforter for us. And reading those verses proves to us that he's always with us, which means Jesus, God, is always with us. He's living in our hearts, and he helps to give us peace and comfort us. Remember when we were talking about the fact that when we're so sad and we're so lonely that, and, and sometimes it's a hard thing, and we have, and, and, and when we are sad and when we're feeling lonely and we just can't feel like we can pray anymore that the Holy Spirit goes to the Father to pray on our behalf. That's a way that he comforts us. He comforts us by reminding us of God's word. He comforts us by allowing us to know that, like I said, God is always with us, that Jesus is living in our hearts because of the Holy Spirit. You know, the Holy Spirit is, is like that special blanket. And, you know, that's kind of why Miss Jamie is here on her bed. Because when I am sad or I, um, when my heart's broken, that this is kind of my place. This is where I feel most comfortable. It kind of surrounds me and I've got my blanket and I've got, you know, maybe you have a very special um stuffed animal that helps comfort you that you need when you're feeling sad or maybe even worried or concerned. And so that's kind of like what the Holy Spirit does. He gives us those things. He gives us those things that he knows will comfort our soul and, and heal our hearts. So I want you to think about I want you to think about the Holy Spirit as your most favorite blanket. And when you're feeling sad, when you're grieving, when when things are just not going the way you thought, I want you to think of the Holy Spirit as that most wonderful, wonderful blanket that you can wrap around yourself or maybe that very special, special stuffed animal that you carry around with you or that lovey, whatever it may be that makes you feel better. That's all what the Holy Spirit does. That's what he shows us how much he loves us. So remember, beloveds, there's something that I told you. I told you that when that happens, you know, when, when things happen in our life, we have to remember to call on the Holy Spirit. We have to allow him to do his job, and that is to be there for us, to guide us and lead us 
and now, as you know, to comfort us. So I want you to think about it. I'm going to read those verses again because I think that is very comforting to know that he is always with us. And I will ask, now this is Jesus talking, and I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you, and before long the world will not see me anymore, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. So, beloveds, remember that when life gets hard, when our hearts get broken, when there are things that are just making life not so fun, that makes life difficult, that we have our comforter, in, our, in the Holy Spirit that comes from God, that is of God. Remember that. Because how wonderful to know that no matter where we go, no matter where we are, no matter what happens, that he is always with us. We just have to ask him. We just have to remember I told you when you get up in the morning, that be the first thing you say, Holy Spirit, be with me today. Holy Spirit, take my worries away. Holy Spirit, be with me every step. We are just so thankful that Jesus has provided the Holy Spirit for us. How awesome. All right, beloved, so say a little prayer, and then I'm going to let you go, and then I'll come back to see you on Thursday. On Thursday, I will, on the 21st. May 30, on May 21st. All right, beloved, let's lay a prayer. Dear God, how awesome that you send us the Holy Spirit to do so many things, to guide us, to lead us, to help us see the world around us, but also to comfort us. When life gets hard, when sad things happen, when our hearts are broken, when worries take over our minds, that you are there to comfort us, to show us the way, to remind you what the Bible tells us, right? That's to remind us, to remind me of what the word says, what you say. We are so grateful and we're so thankful. It's in Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right, beloveds, remember that you always have your comforter with you. You always have your blanket with you and the Holy Spirit. He's there to comfort you. All right, beloveds, I will see you soon. I love you. Bye.